good morning, good afternoon, good evening is your guy, the Nigerian Englishman, and we're here on One Touch TV. And I'm super, super excited today because I have a legend, a legend joining me on my show today. The very one and only Sound Sultan. Give up for him. I know you guys are watching your screens. Give your screen a clap right now. All right. Thank you for joining us. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I don't know if everyone knew this before, but just like me, Sound Sultan is a diehard Arsenal fan. So he's gone through the good times and the bad times with me too. <laughs> so you can say that again. Man. <laughs> the first thing I want to ask you is overall, I mean, we're just over halfway in the season right now. How do you think our season yeah. has planned out so far? What's your opinion of our season? Man, I feel like um, we started rather late. Mm -hmm. You know, we're trying to get ourselves back together, but. Yeah. It's been a very rough season for us. For us to have gone to the other half of the, you know, the table, mm -hmm. I felt bad all that while. Well. Even now, even though now we're, you know, we're climbing up gradually, but you know, it's been a very rough, rough season. Hundred percent. Are you, are you Arteta in or Arteta out? Um, it's more like, it's more like. Ateta, maybe that's what I, I I'm not really about you chasing someone. I'm not in Branovic, so I don't want to chase go for the head of a coach just because they've lost like five in a row. Or four okay. in a row. I just want to see how they manage that because even if the new guy comes, it might just feel you know, at first, you know, look at Emery, look at what Emery, Emery did. <laughs> I, I feel you, man, but my own thing is this. I'll give him till the end of the season before I give him a proper evaluation. So, yes, yes. But he's, I'm not 100% convinced just yet, if I'm honest, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt to the end of the season. I Because I feel with the squad, even though our squad is probably the eighth best squad or the seventh best squad in the league right now, I still think other managers could get more out of that squad than Arteta is currently getting. That's what I feel. Oh, yeah, yeah. you definitely are right. You are right, definitely. I feel like I'm, I've not seen too much of Party himself. Like, I've not enjoyed him with all the fanfare and party that came with Party. <laughs> you know? It's the name now. It's the name that goes ginger now. <laughs> uh, well, coming into this game, though, if you look at our last four fixtures, we've had a draw against Man U. We've got destroyed twice in the Midlands. And thankfully, we've just come off the back of a 4-2 a victory against Leeds, which was a surprise. I'm not going to lie. That one is a shock shot. Leeds now. Leeds now. Not only Leeds with the big blue gaga, but they don't beat up. You too. Leeds. What was the first uh, leg? 0-0. No, no. It was when Pepe oh, got, got sent off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was zero zero, and that was very unfair. Sending mm -hmm. people over, I think that guy would have done a lot that in that game. But then again, this time I will show them who the Gabby. Uh -huh. yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. But right. what, what, what's your what's your predictions for this for this up and coming Benfica game? Because I believe our season depends on the Europa League now, because we can't do anything in the league. So what do you think about this game? We cannot do anything to get the first. First five or first six, you forget it's about it. It's impossible. You know, Benfica, yeah, I think Benfica too are having the times. I mean, they've won yeah. only two in the past five games. Okay. So maybe, maybe we might have luck <laughs> against them. I don't know. Because look, everything can change just like that. They might just see us and just go crazy. Exactly. Like did to back yesterday. Exactly, so, man. You know, this Europe thing, just, it just switch on you. Yeah, you this know, knockout, so. knockout football let's, is a different let's, let's game. Just be <laughs> that knockout football is definitely an um, unpredictable game, as we saw last night, as in Messi was... I don't. I think Messi left, mentally left Look, like, um, Barcelona no, last year. That's got the Yes, that boy has not been part of it, but he still scored yesterday now. Of course, of course. But, but you know, 
I think the, the difference is so it's clear to see right now. It's clear to see. Like there's no way if Messi was fully involved, Mbappe can outshine him that much. Come on. Although Mbappe is a good player, but he can a on form in the game, Messi is not doing that. Come on. Yeah, let's not get sidetracked. No, that guy has been drained already. He just feels like they are forcing him to stay behind, and sometimes it gets the best of the player. That's it, man. So he'll do his best every now and again. He'll show us he's still a great player, but mentally, he's left the club already. But in terms, as we were saying, in terms of knockout football, I believe it's a different game. Anything goes. Anything could happen, as you said. And Benfica, I think they're, they're fourth in their Portuguese league right now. Their top scorer is Harris mm-hmm. Sefrovic with eight goals or something like that. And if it in, in terms of the team... I'm more scared of Benfica history than their current team because historically they've been a, a decent yeah, force in Europe. But I'm not I'm not sure I'm scared of this actual team right now though. What do you think? <laughs> yes, I think I think so. Like I said, man, coming off the last five games, they only won two. You know, maybe they they too are uh, they are seeing their period now. <laughs> So let's just back on all that the, the records for now because they are a big name in, uh, in European you football. Back and, uh, in European football, if you look back and check out their achievements, they are a big name to reckon with. I know people they are not pushovers, so at the end of the day, I know that they would always want to show themselves. But for it's sure. about your current form. For sure. It's about your current form. <laughs> Definitely not. And we found out the hard way about that. We can't live up any past glories anymore. Man. <laughs> All right. So I, I, in terms of Benfica's style of player, they, they like to keep the ball. Uh, so that's mm-hmm. going to be an interesting battle because uh, Arteta likes possession football. But I, I think I just heard some news earlier today that Tierney is back in training, and that's a massive boost for us because I believe our team has more balance with him in the squad. That boy, that boy is a go getter. I don't know, he's the one that brings the spark. He reminds me of Rosiski. He always wants to get, get there and you know just do something up front. So I don't have any fear. At all. Yeah, he, he's other than if we put Bukayo Saka to the side, then Tierney is our best player of the season so far. Other than yeah. Saka. I think. God bless. Yes. That Saka boy is just... He's something phenomenal. else, man. Something else. Left wing, That's right cool. wing, left back. No matter where you play out. Anywhere. <laughs> it reminds me of Fanan at the back. And when it comes up front, it reminds... I don't know who it reminds me of because Sana is not that explosive in... You know, Kendo crosses or even... Taking those shots, exactly. but it's just uh, and he hardly you know loses possession. Exactly. Part I like. Every time he's on the ball, I get excited. Yeah. Every time he's on the ball, because I think My something might happen. Ah, ah, whoa, 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 whoa. steady. I'm ah, more pressure now. Ah, chill now, Zidane, Zizou, chill, steady. Give him a couple more years. What I mean, yeah, well, no, what I mean is Zidane. Yeah, he, he, yeah, has, yeah. he was known. Yeah, has always been known for. Not losing the ball, uh, you know, uh, possession anyhow. Yeah, yeah, he will yeah. always make sure you know he connects or completes that pass or okay. you know, holds on to the ball. And that's what he's passing in this boy. For sure, for sure. He's got he's got such a high ceiling in terms of his progression. The only thing that, has, yeah. that upsets me, as I said in my last video, is he's playing for England rather than Nigeria. Uh, oh, we lost come, another brother. We are playing for two teams. Ah, of course now. I, I did put England shirt and Nigeria shirt at the back soon. Don't worry. <laughs> I've got to represent the brand. Okay, yeah, let's get into the uh, starting lineup. So mm. you give your one, I'll give mine, and then we'll, we'll see if we can collaborate. So we'll start in goal. Who do you want to see in goal? Leno, 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 Leno. Leno, 100%. Hundred, that's, not, that's not a shadow of doubt. Leno, number one. Mr. Reliable, I agree with that one. Okay, centre-backs. Who are your centre-back partnership? Gabriel and Luis. Really? Luis? 
Luis, man, Luis, Luis, man, sometimes. He might make little silly mistakes, but he's still a professional, man. Sometimes when he has a good game, mm -hmm. you'll be impressed. Yeah. But my, so, thing, my thing with Luis, although I've been kind of harsh on him recently, my thing with Luis is he either gives us a 9 out of 10 or he concedes a penalty or gives away a goal. It's, it's either or. There's never like a 7 out of 10 consistently. It's 9 or 5 or 4. And uh, I've conceded so a let's half more. <laughs> let's play with a 9 type of thing. Uh, because... Amen to that. So you pick, you definitely pick him over over Rob Holding, for sure. Yeah, yeah, Holding, oh, <laughs> of course. All right, okay. Um, I'm not too mad. Okay, I can give you that one, Louise. Definitely Gabriel because he looks like he's back to fitness now. So Gabriel yeah, for so. sure. So yeah, I yeah. I know we we're not going to debate who's going to play left back. I know that's there's no debate there. Easy, man. I, I just told you Tierney is back in in full training. Now. He's not back. Did they say he's back? No, he he's training with the first team, so that's positive. Okay, so if he's if he's fit, then I put it. He has if to. He's not. Yeah. If he's not, then Cedric now. I I don't even mind if they just play Tierney for Europa League games now until the end of the season. Yeah, if that means yeah, he yeah, stays yeah. fit. And we have a good run. Exactly. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Every Thursday, Thursday medicine. <laughs> I don't mind at all. So right back. If Tierney is playing, then I would personally put Cedric as right back. But what do you think? No. What do you do? Ah. What, what did happen to Bellerina? You did, you did, you did I, I, I can't. Uh, because he scored on the weekend, you want to give him another chance, have you? <laughs> Trust me, that he has already boosted his, uh, you know, his confidence, his yeah. and his confidence. So definitely, that might be good leading to to this game. The European. You think yeah. we should we should ride the wave of this confidence that he has right now? Just ride exactly. it for a few games. Okay, fair exactly. enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So that's speed. and <laughs> he's lost his speed. I don't care what anyone says. He's lost <laughs> half a yard at least. But if he can put a, as good a performance as he did against Leeds on Sunday, I don't mind. Yeah. So I don't mind. Yeah, that was a big game. Personally, I would have picked <laughs> Cedric, but in terms of his confidence is high, maybe give him another run to, to keep it at that level. So you're right. That works. Um, I do, I've not heard anything about Partey, so I don't think he's available for this game. But who's, who, yeah. who do you want to play in the midfield? Who's your midfield three? Uh, Olga Shaka. Yeah, huh? Shaka, yeah. So, and okay, Shabazz and Shaka. They worked very well this week on Sunday. Yes. Sorry, and Those as I said, Shabazz is the same type of thing. He either gives us a great performance or you don't uh, see yeah, him right. in the game. Yeah. Well, that, the one thing that yeah. annoys, <laughs> right? The one thing that frustrates me about him is he sometimes he just likes too many touches on the ball, like as in just keep it moving. Uh -uh. Chill down. What will you say about Pepe? If we are talking about him. We'll get to that one in a second. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get there. So I think, but in your in as you said, I think European football is very suited to Sabayas' style. So maybe that mm. midfield, Xhaka and, and Sabayas definitely could work. So I don't mind that. Xhaka was up to his old tricks giving the ball away on the weekend, but overall, his performances <laughs> have been good. Uh, I think so. Usually, no more, no more feed up. No more uh, level. <laughs> so, but he deserves another another start. I'd rather him than El Nenny any day. So. Oh, yeah, most uh, any day. Oh, any day. El Nenny day. El Nenny day. So, as an, our attacking midfielder, would you go with Smith Rowe or Odegaard? No, both of them. Maybe in the middle of the garden. And, then and Smith Rowe on the left again. Left and my boy Saka. On the right. Okay, do you know what? I, I don't mind that that front, that um Smith Rowe on the left, Saka on the right, Odegaard in the middle. I don't mind it. But my only fear is, don't you think that we're relying a lot, a bit too much on Smith Rowe at, at his young age? Maybe give him a rest? So there's not too much pressure on him. I don't know. What do you think? That's he's my only concern. The the he's not the final of the World Cup. <laughs> but he's, he's played a lot of football this season and he's young. 
Yes, yeah. yes, he's young, but then again, I'm sure it, it would help us. We need those fresh legs. You know, we need those fresh legs, and most definitely, he hasn't complained that he's tired. He's a young player. Will he, will, he, will he complain? He's young now. He won't complain now. He doesn't want to lose his place. Uh, even his Standard. young legs, you know, I think it's just like that. So I know that um, we need him. We need him. That's what he's, he's, yeah. he's playing at. Uh, yeah, he hasn't even gone into his prime yet. He just... Look, my, okay, my, own, my only concern with this Smith Rowe thing is this, right? Because just like you talked about it earlier, we spent, we've spent 72 million on this current flop Pepe don't, don't get me wrong he's flopped since he's come it's to the club let's, let's I, I, I think Salehi took one million for himself but that's another story but yeah he, we paid 70, 72 million or whatever for him and he's just gotten a little bit of confidence if you look at the game before Leeds he scored a couple goals he looked more confident on the ball and then you drop him I mean he looks like a guy that needs the manager to have his arm around him and say, don't worry, you're my guy, you're going to do well. So I'd, I, the little he's given us so far, I don't want him to lose that. So I'd, I'd personally start Odegaard in the middle and Pepe on the left, Saka on the right, personally. But I, I'm not mad with your decision, though, because ah, smith is still a bowler, so I'm, I'm not upset. But for confidence, like you... I think just like you were saying for for Bellerin, um, yeah. the pe- the confidence thing. I think it's the same thing for Pepe. So, in terms of confidence, I'd pick him. But if he goes with the the, the same from the same midfield three as Sunday, I'm not upset either because it's still a strong side. Mm-hmm. And I know I'd, I'd, we don't even need to discuss who is going to be our number nine to tonight tomorrow night, Abby. That's not a debate, right? I knew that that. You need another three. <laughs> Abama Yang. The boy is back. Abama confidence. Yang. Confidence is high. <laughs> Hat trick. All types of goals. Penalty. Dribble. Header. He gave us everything on the way. He looked sharp. He looked hungry again. He looked so hungry. I thought it was a fraudulent extension. That's it. <laughs> I thought it was a secure contract and then... <laughs> Dismisses his football um, skills. <laughs> I know. Don't forget where he puts it. Ah. And then again, he's back to his ways. Hundred percent, sir. I, I I said in my last video, a, a, a confident Abama Yang is scary for any defender and any goalkeeper in, in, the, the, world. in the world. In the world, in the world, hundred percent. So in that's our world. that's our starting lineup. Now, before yeah. we go, we need to get a score prediction. What's your prediction for today? I mean, tomorrow night. Sorry. Tomorrow night, I'm thinking um, 3 1. 3 1, yeah? Obviously, it's awesome. 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 3 1, yeah. I, I can't see us keeping a clean sheet. I know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's our style. I'm going to go with 2 1. 2 1. I think we'll take a 2 0 lead and then they'll equalize. I mean, they'll score one late on and we'll be yeah. nervous for the last 10 minutes. You know how we love to yeah, do it. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So, as I said, this is the this is the only way we realistically save our season because there's nothing else to play for. We can't all that top six, top four. That talk needs to be cancelled. We cannot do any of that. Like Europa League is everything. Play even if you want to rest players in the Premiership to play in Europa League. I'm okay with that at this point. Because okay, we're, very okay, I'm very okay with that. Because I think we're only, we're tenth in the league right now. So hopefully, yeah. what what I want to say again, sorry, thank you very much for joining us today, South Sultan. South, 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 sorry, you, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied here. Um, I I hope to invite you back yeah. another time. Yes, sir. everyone that's watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, the boys do it tomorrow night, and we have something to celebrate. Thanks for your time, bro. Take it easy. Take it easy, bro.